The Senator from Georgia. Mr. President, I rise today along with my colleague, my fellow University of Georgia graduate, Senator Isaacson, to honor a man who uh, died last week, who became a legend in his own time in our great state. A legend uh, that was respected by, uh, as we would say, folks on both sides of the aisle. Uh, this man, uh, to, uh, that term to this man means that he was respected by uh, Georgia Tech fans as well as University of fans. The man I'm talking about is Larry Munson. Larry Munson was not a Southerner by birth, but he became a Southerner and a Georgia Bulldog by passion. He was the Georgia football announcer for an excess of four decades. And during those four decades, he not only witnessed some of the most memorable football games, but he made some of the most memorable calls. His way of describing a football play will go down in the annals of broadcasting as not only being unique, not only being fascinating, but it'll go down in the annals of sports broadcasting as being some of the best and most professional calls ever made on a football field. But there was more to Larry Munson than the Ron Lindsay run, more to Larry Munson than the OU Herschel Walker, more to Larry Munson than we just stomped on him with our hobnail boot. He was a man who had passion for life, a man who had um, a thorough understanding of his profession, a man who worked very hard at his profession. He uh, used to get up every Saturday morning before a football game and have coffee with our legendary coach, Vince Dooley. Coach Dooley said that he finally had to stop having coffee with Larry Munson because Larry was the ever pessimist from a football standpoint. And that Coach Dooley would come into those coffees feeling good about his chances in the ball game that day. And by the time he finished having coffee with Larry Munson, he had to go back and rewrite his playbook for the ball game. Larry Munson was simply a man who loved the University of Georgia. He loved calling football games, and he loved putting his emotions into those calls. He was a man also who cared not just about the University of Georgia, but about its students. He used to have what he called a, a Wednesday night movie night where he would invite students to join him at a theater in Athens, Georgia, and he would just share time, his time, with students that he loved. And he did this for years and years and years. And I've heard stories from some of those folks who attended those movie nights that Larry Munson was more passionate about movies than he was about University of Georgia football, which is hard to imagine. But as we look back on the life of Larry Munson, those of us who live and breathe Georgia football will always remember the passionate calls, the way that he put his heart and soul into a football game. But we'll also remember the man, Larry Munson, who enjoyed life, enjoyed people, enjoyed his profession, and who gave so much back to his profession, and a man who uh, loved the outdoors. He came from his birthplace of Minneapolis South many years ago, and he remained a true Southerner, not just for his 40 years of broadcasting at the University of Georgia, but in his bass fishing, for example. I remember when he would come down to our part of the world in South Georgia to speak to a touchdown club or whatever it may be, he would always call up and say, where's the best bass pond in South Georgia? That's where I want to be this afternoon before my speech. And he just thoroughly enjoyed the outdoors, thoroughly enjoyed uh, being around people. And that was obvious in the way he expressed himself behind the microphone when he called football games. So as we celebrate the life of Larry Munson, we celebrate more 
than his historic calls, his uh, passion for football, his passion for his family, his passion for friends exceeds um, any passion he had for football. And Larry Munson was a great man. He was a great friend. He is certainly going to be missed by our state and particularly by our university. With that, I would yield to Senator Isaacson.